Come join the community crew. We're making life better for me and for you. Building citizens who respect and care in our school, in the world, in the life we share. It begins with understanding. Yeah, that's where it starts. We open up our minds and we open up our hearts. And I'm Pink Passion. We, we are the superheroes of kindness. Welcome, friends, to episode four of season two of Let's Talk Kindness, where we will begin the discussion on the second pathway of kindness, kindness to others. Isn't it amazing, Pink Power, that we got so much positive feedback on our discussion about kindness to oneself? It is. My heart is so full with gratitude and honor. Totally. Our friends, both adults and children, told us that they found our episodes to be both insightful and entertaining. <laughs> they love cat singing. The tips and guidance our hosts provided helped them to realize how important being kind to yourself truly is. That's so good to hear because now we have built a strong foundation for the second pathway of kindness. You're right. Kindness to oneself leads or helps us to be kind to others. In our next three episodes, our hosts are going to share some great ways that we can show kindness to others. Today, our hosts, Jamal Horse, Carl Cardinal, and Ajay Dog, will share their ideas on how you can show kindness to others. Can't wait to hear what they have to share. Kindness to others? Oh, something I'm not very good at. Don't like doing it. Why should I be kind to others? No one is kind to me. They see a crocodile and they run the other way. This is one pathway I'm not going to follow. You know, being a bird is awesome. I love flying, spreading my wings, and soaring through the sky. Flying also gives me the chance to see when someone needs help. The reason why helping others is my favorite way to show kindness to others is that there are so many ways to help. Like, hundreds of ways. Helping someone move stuff. Helping someone with their work. Helping someone up when they fall. And so many, many more ways. A little bit of help is a whole bunch of kindness. Ruff, ruff. When people hear the word give, they often think of giving money or material things. Ruff, ruff. Donating money to charities, donating food to food banks, donating items to secondhand stores. Ruff, ruff. All are great things to do. When we are kind to others, it's just not about giving money or food or, or things. Ruff, ruff. Kindness to others includes giving your time to help, an ear to listen, ruff, ruff. a hand to assist, a shoulder to cry on, your heart to love. Ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff or your mind to educate, and your voice to a cause. Ruff, ruff. With there being so many ways to give, ruff, ruff, there are so many ways to be kind to others. Ruff, 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 ruff. Nice to see you again, friends. Today, we're talking about the second pathway of kindness, kindness to others. One of the ways to show kindness to others is to take responsibility and apologize to someone after you've made a mistake. Mistakes happen. They might be called errors of judgment, slip-ups, accidents, fumbles, or unintentional actions. Whatever you call mistakes, they happen to everybody. And with some people, they happen a lot. But you know what? You can make things better by admitting the mistake, apologizing for it, and then working to make it right. That means accepting the consequences. When traveling down the second pathway of kindness, saying sorry can take barriers out of your way. Now that I think of it, the other day, my tail got tangled up in some garbage. And Fox, rather than walking away, he stopped and he helped me. That was kind of him. Very kind of him. Maybe I can show a little kindness to another. Pass it forward? No, 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 no. Pay it forward, as they say. Activity number one. As Ajay Dog shared, giving as a way to show kindness to others is more than giving money or physical things. It's giving of yourself. Out of the ways that Ajay mentioned, 
giving your time to help, an ear to listen, a hand to assist, a shoulder to cry on, your heart to give love, your mind to educate, and your voice to a cause, which one do you think is the most meaningful? Why? Activity number two. Helping others is a wonderful way to show kindness to others. Write a catchy poem, rhyming, haiku, cinque, diamante, acrostic, etc., encouraging people to help each other. Activity number three. We all lend things to and borrow things from our friends. The kind thing to do is to return the object in the condition you borrowed it in and after you are done using it. If a friend either breaks what they borrowed or doesn't return what they borrowed, how would that make you feel? How would you help your friend understand the importance of returning things, how they borrowed them, and when they said they would return them? Free worksheets are available on the Teachers by Teachers Just One Wish Kindness program store. We would love to see your work. Please email it to us at just underscore one underscore wish at outlook.com. I found what Ajay had to say very interesting. How so? I liked how he explained that giving was a lot more than money or physical things. Yeah, giving of yourself in ways that have nothing to do with money or physical things is a super way to show kindness to others as it is more valuable and meaningful. What did you find interesting, Pink Power? I liked Charlie's comment, pay it forward. Now that was a wonderful comment, especially since it came from Charlie, that cranky crocodile. We make the world a better place when we continue the chain of kindness. I show kindness to you, you show kindness to another, and that person shows it to someone else. And so on and so on. This pathway of kindness, kindness to others, is one that can go in many directions and reach millions of people. This brings us to the end of part one of our discussion about kindness to others. We hope that we've been able to initiate meaningful conversations with you and those around you. Please join us for episode five, where Professor Owl, Dolly Skunk, Jimmy Snake, and Fatima Mouse share some great ways to show kindness to others. Remember, the more you talk about kindness, the more you will learn about kindness, and the more kindness will happen. So, let's talk kindness! No matter what your story, it's time to make your choice. To speak for those who can't, to help them find their voice. Together we're a mighty crew, together we are strong. Together we will change the world, let kindness be our song.